Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And this is one of the most anticipated video on my channel. A lot of you guys have asked me for a Tatina or Huawei PC build guide, and this is it. This is it. Today we're gonna be doing a complete PC guide first. I'm gonna tell you what type of components to use and not, and then I'm gonna do a complete installation guide. So I'll tell you how to install macOS 6 Mojave on this PC. Now I'm not choosing Catalina today. It's just that Catalina is not mature enough. Right now, a lot of drivers, a lot of KX files are not available for it, and that's why I'm going to be choosing Mojave. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a USB flash drive with Mac OS X Mojave on it. For this, we are going to go on the HackingTheZone.com and download Mac OS X Mojave from there or Catalina if you want to. Now the thing is that once we are over here, we would have to log in, and once you're done all of that, just follow the path. Now I'll put in direct links to Mac OS X Catalina in the description, so you can download it from there. Now to run Transmac as administrator and format your USB drive with the Mojave image that you have downloaded. Now to build a Hackintosh at the price of just ten thousand, you would probably have to do with some pre-builds. Just get a pre-built, slap in an AMD 400 or 500 series card, and you're probably done with it. Now for our build, we have chosen an i5, a second generation pre-built with 8 gigs of RAM and 250 gigabyte of normal hard drive, and then I have slotted in an RX 460 to it. Now this makes a decent Hackintosh machine. Now this is a PC, so you can also boot into Windows and play some games. Anyways, guys, let's get started with the installation. So for the installation. We have our USB drive. We're just gonna plug it into it. Now I would have to remove my AMD graphics card as AMD's RX series cards are not supported while installation of Catalina. So our Intel Intel HD graphics would do us the bail. But for now, we have to remove the card and we would insert it as soon as the installation is completed. Now here we have to enter into the boot menu. So uh, for my motherboard, this is F7. For your motherboard, it could be either Escape, Delete, or F2. You have to choose your USB drive and hit Enter. Now this would automatically boot you into Mac OS X Mojave. Now we just need to wait for a while. Now once you are in this menu you have to click continue then click continue and click agree Now go into the utilities and click on terminal Now in this one you have to change the date so what we'll be doing is entering in date Now we would have to type date 0115114511 8 Now quit terminal and get to the utilities and click on disk utility now we'll change this section to show all devices now erase the uh, sata drive You would choose Mac OS X extended if it's a normal drive, and APFF, APFS if it's an SSD. Now I would name this thing as Mojave. Now 
Now once the erase is finished, click on done and exit the disk utility. Now select Mojave and click on customize. Now depending on the kex files you need, there might be some extra kex files that you would need for your specific PC. You can choose them from here. Now click on Mojave and click continue and I would be back when the installation of Mojave is completed. So when the installation is completed, it will automatically restart your computer. And this time it will boot through the hard drive. And now we'll insert the graphics card right into the slot. I know this computer is very bad, uh, has a very bad cable management and to be honest, I cannot do anything for it. There's just no space in this cabinet for cables. I have to install this card from one hand, dude. Yeah, there we go. So, clicks in. Now, once you're done with putting in the graphics card, just turn on your PC and it would automatically boot to Mac Mojave. Now once you're in this menu, you're almost done and the installation begins. Now choose your country and click next. And just do the normal installation process of Mac. Now, as you can see, in About Mac, we have a Core i5 and 8 gigs of RAM and the RX 460 is de uh, detected and all the VRAM is detected. So guys, we are at the end of this video and as you guys saw that this PC supports everything. The iMessage works, the FaceTime works, App Store works, everything is just working and you can follow this kind of guide for yourself because it's very easy and for 10 to thousand you would be able to make a game PC and a Hackintosh at the same time. Now you can always boot into Windows and make this a game PC. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys share this video because that is very important. I hope you guys join Discord because there I can solve all your problems if you have any, if you're not able to install the KX files and all that stuff. So you can go and join our Discord and also like the video because it really helps the algorithm Subscribe to our channel guys. Thanks for watching and I'll get back to you in the next video.